Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford Transit. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Transit Custom 2 litre 320 Eco Blue Trend L1 H1. EU6 engine, most important. 2018 on an 18 plate. Has done 72,370 miles. Two registered owners. MOT until the 19th of the 7th, 2022. Fuel economy, this is only uh, approximate because it obviously all depends on what you've got in the in the back, how much load you're carrying. But urban, 40.9 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 48.7 miles per gallon. Combined is 45.6 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 99 miles per hour out of 128 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. The service history, it's showing the PDI there on the 17th of 7th, 2018 at 10 miles and then 13th of 6th, 2019 at 18,221 miles at RJE Automotive. We've just had it serviced on the 24th of 11th, 2021 at 72,347 miles at Northwest Auto Care. Now, problem with company vans really especially when you've got company drivers in and they have them serviced never take the service book in service advisors these days uh, most of them are worse than useless and and don't go out and search the service book and uh, and it's if it's a, an independent then it's not put on the di digital service history either so um, I can only say that we think it's been serviced but I'm afraid that that's about as much as, as I can say. Um, so we'll go for a, go for a ride in it. Gosh, just had the heater on while I've been. Uh, photographing the outside. Let's just see. Oh, she. So we've got height adjustable seat there. Get down a bit, a bit high there. Let's see what we've got here. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. We've got power folding door mirrors. So it's a it's a really good spec. We're coming up to Christmas at the moment and we've had an absolute burster. Um, four cars yesterday, well three cars and a van yesterday and uh, just haven't been able to get around to photographing and videoing the, the two transit vans we, we have. We have this and a, a long wheelbase, both same price, both about the same condition. Um, usually we, we get swamped with people at the moment wanting to convert them to camper vans because there is a shortage of vans and there's also a shortage of holidays. I'm supposed to be going in a week's time on Boxing Day and uh, the way it's looking it's not good so uh, I'm wishing I had a camper van so instead of going snowboard into Italy, I could perhaps just uh, nip to the Cairngorms and have a bash there. So hopefully we won't get uh, locked down again. Having said that, if we do, people start spending money on the house and at home rather than going abroad and stuff and, uh, and then the vans sell like hotcakes again. Yet again, that's a GoPro, electric. 
not 12 months old, does what it wants, switches on when it likes, switches off when it likes, and records what it likes when it likes. You can't beat diesel engines, not batteries. As I've said before, if somebody invented a diesel GoPro, I'd, I'd buy 20, because the electric ones are useless. These, these transits, superb to drive. They drive like cars these days. They're pretty economical, very, very handy. You can get loads of, loads of stuff in the back. Probably the best van for the money. On the steering wheel here, got cruise control. Just, I think that switches it on and sets. Yeah, can just move it up like so. So that's set there, the cruise. If I knock it down, that decreases the speed. If I knock it up, it increases the speed. I'll just increase it. We're in a 40 mile an hour limit now. There we go, 40 mile an hour limit, cruise is on. Indicators on the left, wipers on the right. Very, very good heater. So I'll switch that on, but turn it down. So, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. All you need really, it's still a, not too, it's, it's not like the full iPad right at the top, because often you, you're going up the motorway and you see three guys in a transit and, and these two have got their feet on the dashboard, which isn't advisable by the way, because if an airbag goes off, you. <laughs> You end up, I don't know how to say that in a polite way, <laughs> but anyway, it's not good. But anyway, the, the, the iPad version looks very fragile to me. And uh, you know, with workmen carrying all sorts of stuff and getting in with bags and the, the smaller stubby one, seems to be um, a better idea to be in a van than the other one. That's what I'm trying to say. Suspension isn't too bad. Vans always drive better when they've got a bit of weight in the back because that's what they're designed for. Weight over the back axle. But having said that, this isn't too bumpy or anything. And uh, I, I can certainly see why a lot of people make these the basis of a, a camper van or a day van. They're popular too, you know, with fishermen. Get all your stuff in the back. Well, honestly, this heater is phenomenal. But that also, one of the disadvantages of old vans with no bulkhead, you were heating your cement mixer and all your tools in the back. Whereas this, you've got your own kind of climate, your own ecosystem in the front here, and it warms up very, very quickly. And you can also cool it down very quickly too. hand side there that's uh, for your information display in the center on the left hand side you've got rev counter information display at the bottom coolant temperature and then to the right of the coolant temperature is fuel gauge and speedo your center display information display there there you go just trip computer trip computer 2 this van at the moment has done 72,352.6 miles. 
will have done more by the time uh, by the time I finish this ride and also <laughs> John John has just got a new TV and the uh, in the back is the old box and no doubt on Boxing Day there'll be about a hundred other boxes from all his grandchildren as Christmas presents. So it'll have done a few more miles going to the tip as well. They're, they're so nice to drive these. Very economical too. Let's just see. The information display there showing you the cruise control is set, but we're actually exceeding what the cruise control is set to. I just knocked that up again. That's 70 miles an hour it's set to now. Just move in. It's the ordinary trip showing it's averaging 32.1 miles per gallon which as I say is pretty good plus it's just been ticking over while I've been videoing it 79 miles of before we have to fill up instantaneous fuel consumption which to be honest means very little then we've got driver assist and click on the driver assist traction control on and also hill start that's uh, that's ticked i think i'm just holding people up now so we'll try and tuck in actually and also every time i go out in a van i always end up doing 70 miles an hour and then the same person emails me to say you know you're only allowed to do 60 don't you so I'm slowing down to 60 So there's the controls. Cruise is there. Your information display there, look. As you can see moving over here. That's your power folding door mirrors. Electric windows. Global locking and unlocking six-speed gearbox here twelve volt power socket there and that's your radio there if I just turn this up so the, the road holding too the, the, the better it's got better road holding than a lot of sports cars and just whip it round here, look at that. There we go, every grid, every grid on the centre, no more steering input. So it doesn't oversteer and it doesn't understeer. And it's a van. Having said that, there's a lot of weight in the back. And I think it might oversteer a little bit, but if it's a camper van, then you won't get much better. These two seats, you can height them up. I might not be able to, well, I can't, get me, I can't get my finger through this, but pull that up like so. You've got space under there. And the one on the, the, the left-hand side, you can load. If you've got anything, any long stuff, it will load through from the back because there's a hatch 
just in the bulkhead. And the, the acceleration and the gear change. <laughs> I was every time again, every time I get in a Ford, the gear change just amazes me. It's just perfect. So it's pretty quiet again with the bulkhead, especially. You don't get the intrusive noise coming through from the back and the rattles and the panels flexing. All good. I'm doing it again, going, going too fast. I'm going to let these go past. So we've got some really good cars in us. Um, what I'm going to try and I may even have to work tomorrow, Sunday, <laughs> to try and get catch up before Christmas. We've got a lovely little Mini in, high spec. We've got a BMW 535. Don't don't indicate. No, no, I'll guess. Oh God, and get another one. Gosh, what a vile colour. I thought Katie Price had been banned from driving. Again. Yeah, 535, beautiful car, heads up display, carbon black metallic with. Uh, cream Daytona leather music playing through my glasses <laughs> yeah, copyright strike So, as I say, great van. It's got side loading door. It's got the twin barn doors, solid, no glass in it. So nice and secure for your, um, whatever you're carrying. It's got front and rear parking sensors, I think, from memory. This. Person in front is doing 25 miles an hour. Not quite sure what that's all about.
Ah oh dear, I'm going the same way I am. I forgot I was videoing then. <laughs> They're so nice to drive, they really are. And you've got a great driving position. As I say, you can see over all the hedges, nice and comfortable, seats are lovely, well padded. All the equipment you need really. There's no sat nav, but you know, put your sat nav on, and it'll give you instructions over the uh, the Bluetooth, or if, certainly if you plug it in the USB. There we go. We're back at Grosvenor Garage. <laughs> 